What's up with it Raider Nation? It's your boy Raider Hancho and I'm back with a brand new video for you. All right, man, let's get right into it, man. You already know the vibes. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video, do all that good stuff that they tell you to do. Also, hit me up on Instagram and Twitter, both are at Raider Show. But look, check it out, man. We are five. That's right. One, two, three, four, foomph. That's German if you didn't know. So we are five days away from the first game of the 2021 season for our Las Vegas Raiders. I'm super pumped up. I can't wait. This is my first season. I keep telling y'all it's my first season. I started my YouTube channel in the offseason. It's been a hell of an offseason so far. Uh, so thank you, everybody that's been supporting. But, man, let's get into it, man. There's topics that I just come up with every morning. I just wake up and I say, you know what? If I'm thinking about it, maybe somebody else is thinking about it. So maybe I should talk about it. So here we are today, and I'm talking about Nate Hobbs or... Trayvon Merrick. And which one's going to have the better rookie season? I mean, we all have predictions. We all have expectations. We all have ideas and ideologies, ideologies, idiot takes, whatever the hell you want to call them. Hot takes, cold takes. I got them all, baby. But look, I want to know who you think is going to have a better rookie season. More impactful, maybe better stats. Who's going to stand out more? Is it going to be the young boy who bursts on the scene like a bat out of hell, Nate Hobbs? Good Lord, he's a monster. Or is it going to be the subtle, smooth, finesse, calm, cool, and collective style of Trayvon Merrick? Now, I'm going to give you my answer. And I know a lot of you think I'm going to be hating because I was already biased against Nate Hobbs and I love Trayvon Merrick and all those things. Hey, those things could be true. Doesn't mean I'm biased. I could have hated on him in the beginning. I could have loved this guy in the beginning. It doesn't matter. But, um, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm going to give you my honest opinion right here, right now, on who I think is going to have a more impactful rookie season. And... When you talk about what the Raiders needed in this offseason, it was clear that we needed some help in the secondary. We needed some help in the back end of that defense. And quite frankly, we needed help all over the damn field, especially on the defensive side. But more or less, that secondary needed to be shored up and needed to be anchored down. And we needed a free safety, a ball hawking free safety that could play sideline to sideline, play in the post, and uh, come up to make tackles if they needed to, right? Um, it seemed like Jonathan Abram was a little bit over his head with trying to do too much, kind of out of control, not enough um, patience, not enough poise back there. And we all felt like Trayvon Merrick had to be the guy. Some people wanted uh, J Javon Holland. Some people wanted Jamar Johnson. Some people wanted... Um, Richie Grant, but my eyes were on Trayvon Merrick the whole time because he just possessed that calm demeanor that I feel like you need to play free safety. You want to play strong safety in the box, you could be Bob Sanders, you could be Jonathan Abram, you could be Carl Joseph for that matter, but to be back there and be the quarterback of the second day, you have to have some type of poise, you have to have some type of calmness to you, you have to have some type of cool confidence to where you never get too high or too low and I felt like Trayvon Merrick possessed that he was a pro ready uh safety in college from my opinion I know he played a little more of a quarters defense and in, and in Gus Bradley system he's gonna play a little more of a thirds defense but I feel like he can make the transition um Nate Hobbs is plays in a position that we also needed because our nickel and slot corners were just awful last year Meek Robinson just couldn't get the job done although he has been looking better this preseason you also could say Nevin Lawson is just god awful He's just got awful, guys. I mean, no disrespect to him personally, but I'm just evaluating talent against other talent on the same level. Of course, he's better than me, but damn, when you stack him up against the peers of his likely position in the NFL, it just doesn't uh, fare too well for him, okay? Uh, Isaiah Johnson couldn't get it done. Um, and also, it was... Um, Damn, why I'm forgetting his name? LaMarcus Joyner. LaMarcus Joyner, Mr. Ankle Socks, Ashy Kneecaps, Ashy Ankle Bone himself. He always got hurt every damn play anyway. He made a tackle. He had to come out of the game for six plays. So we just couldn't get it done. So we addressed both of those positions. Nate Hobbs came in. And like I said, man, a man amongst boys this preseason. Really just beasting on the opposition. Standing out. Making plays left and right. Uh, just... Just a calm demeanor about him, too, but you know he's just a wild dog, ready to break off the leash, man. Take somebody's head off. You know that about him. Um, and I think he's going to get the job done. I mean, he's physical. He's big. He's He has all the intangibles you want to be able to play on the secondary. He's rangy. He's quick, versatile. Uh, can play outside, inside. He probably can play a little free safety if you really wanted him to. But um, I think he's going to have a good season. Now, the thing about what, what separates the two for me is probably going to be opportunity. And I feel like Trayvon Merrick is going to have way more opportunities to stand out, way more opportunities to make an impact. Now, maybe for one game, two games here and there, Nate Hobbs will make the play that stands out. But overall, who's going to have a bigger impression on his defense? I think it's going to be Trayvon Merrick. Um, 
I think Trayvon Merrick is just way more versatile than we've seen. We see him in the preseason. He's playing with number number twos, number threes. So he really didn't get much action because our defense was kind of dominating the twos and threes and fours of the other teams. And I think Nate Hobbs was able to stand out for that same reason. He's going against twos and threes to where it's like he's going to get the bulk of the attention. The free safety is not getting that much attention because not that many twos or threes are going to be able to push the ball downfield. I mean, and I, I just don't see it. I don't see where Trayvon Merrick has lost anything or where his stock has went down at all. I can see how Nate Hobbs' stock went up because he started as a late round draft pick that nobody really knew. So he's building his stock up. Trayvon Merrick's coming in highly touted. Expectations are sky high for him. So it may, maybe some people may have lost a little bit of of like enamor with him, maybe not impressed with him, but I think he's going to impress everybody. I think he's going to have a great year. So I'm going to go with Trayvon Merrick. I think Trayvon Merrick is going to have the more impactful, better rookie season. He'll be in the conversation for defensive rookie of the year. And uh, yeah, that's my take. I think both are going to be really great. I'm not putting them against each other, even though the thumbnail says or or this, but at the end of the day, who do I think is going to have a more impactful rookie season? I'm going to go with Trayvon Merrick. I want you to get down in the comments. Let me know what you think. Is it going to be Trayvon Merrick? It's going to be Nate Hobbs. Who's going to have the bigger rookie season, most impactful season for our defense, okay? Um, I think both of them are going to have to have pretty good years for our defense to be good. Uh, get down in the comments. Let me know what you think. If you like the video, like the video. If you like the content on this channel, please subscribe to the channel. I'm not going to give you any stat predictions because I think I'm going to do that with my homeboy, Raid the Tape, on his channel shortly. Either today, tomorrow, I don't know, this afternoon, tomorrow night, one of them days. So make sure y'all stay tuned for that. Hit me up on Instagram and Twitter, both at Raider Hunt Show. And until the next time, Raider Hunt Show out.